I remember there was a child who was dying. I took that child to the government facility. They were doing nothing, and they even looked at me and said, do you think this is the first child that I'm going to see die? We started recruiting children in their villages. We knew that it was our desire to help them with medical care, with education. Other medical facilities in Chinjojo were very poor. They weren't properly diagnosing the children. When I visited one of the facilities, I saw the way health workers were handling patients. It was too horrible. Some of the facility owners put up these facilities with the sole motive of making money, through which they end up exploiting people. It gave us a greater urgency to do something on our own. We were informed that there was a couple in the US that had purposely saved money and had passion for constructing a medical center in Africa. Now that our sponsored children have access to medical care at McFarland Memorial Medical Center, I've seen such a great improvement in their health practices and their hygiene. All of the staff that work at that facility show them so much love and care and attention. At the facility where, where I'm working now, there's a, a big difference of how staffs handle patients. They always handle patients in, with care, with passion, with love. We have a dream that on the children's land, there will be thousands of children that live there, that go to school there. And the medical center is crucial to that dream as they take in these children that are rejected, these children that are malnourished, that are orphaned, that are HIV AIDS victims. They are physically demonstrating the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm.